How's it going, everybody? Arthur Reyes here, Warners and Warners.com, and today we have one NFL parlor that we are creating for the, for the Sunday, November 26th, 2023 slate of games. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about our promotion that we are running over at Warners and Warners.com, where you guys can save 65% off on all my packages until further notice if you use the promo code KJR. 5th65. That is all one word, no spaces. Make sure to go check out my profile as well as some of our other top performers. As an addition to this video, that you guys are getting for free on YouTube.com. You guys are going to get access to my written picks as well as what I'm betting on throughout the day, so you guys can always stay in the loop. In addition, check out the link in the description below. It is a link to all of our affiliate sportsbook promotional signups. So if you guys are in the market for a new sportsbook or just want to take advantage of some free bonus bets, make sure to go check it out. The link is very simple. It shows you which sportsbooks we offer. Bonus bets for each sports book and the link to go sign up. You guys get those bonus bets. We get an affiliate bonus so everybody wins at the end of the day. So the first game we're going to be discussing is the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Chiefs are 7-3. and three. The Raiders are 5-6. and six. Uh, The Raiders have been playing better since firing John Gruden or uh, Josh McDaniel. I don't know why Gruden was on the mind there. But since firing him, uh, Max Crosby is trying to play despite being doubtful. He would be the first person who has been listed as doubtful to play in the game this season. Uh, McCall Hardman just went on IR, so uh, Kansas City pass offense that hasn't really done well because of the wide receiving core. Just lost one of their wide receivers. They're obviously without uh, Kadarius Tony as well, so it's going to be hard. I just think that this Kansas City Chiefs offense is going to step up. They're going to play better than they did uh, in Philadelphia on Monday night. So give me Kansas City minus 9.5. The next game we're talking about, the Buffalo Bills, who are 6-5, and five, take on the 9-1 and one Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles are only a three-point favorite. I think this is kind of a trap. I don't see why Philadelphia should be only a three-point favorite at home as the better team. Uh, I think, obviously, the pass defense for Philadelphia has struggled this season, but they showed they were able to limit, basically, what the Kansas City Chiefs were able to do. This Buffalo defense is not great. They're only 6-5. and five. I think Jalen Hurts is going to dominate. I think that the defensive line for the Philadelphia Eagles is going to stop Josh Allen from really trying to run around too much. So give me Philadelphia minus 3. And then, finally, our last game, the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Los Angeles Chargers uh, on Monday, or excuse me, on Sunday night football. Uh, the Ravens are 8-3, and three, the Chargers are 4-6. and six. Uh, I just, again, don't see why the Chargers should be, uh, in this game, they're three-point home underdogs. So the Ravens are three-point favorites at, on the road across the country in this game. It makes sense. I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson to dominate here. I don't see the Chargers defense playing well. They have not played well lately or throughout the season, basically. And with Joey Bosa on IR, I don't see them getting two, getting stops. So all in all, we're going to go with Baltimore minus three, Kansas City minus nine and a half, and Eagles minus three as our parlay for today. So after you guys don't make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.